I got my car in 1962. <laughs> I paid $300 for it. It is a lot of fun just driving the car when you, whenever you can put the top down. We are members of the Connecticut Area Classic Thunderbird Club, and, and we, we all love our cars! What's the first thing a 16-year-old kid wants? His driver's license. Go by every house in the suburb. You tell me if you see one car, or if you don't see two or three cars. We have a love affair with our automobile. That's our bit of independence. We want to be able to jump into that vehicle, drive to our place of employment, whether it's an office or a shop or factory. We want to be able to park as close as possible to the front door there. And then comes 4.30 or 5 o'clock, God forbid we should have to wait to carpool with somebody and take them home. Since 1973, highway travel in the state has increased by 84% while the total road system has increased by less than 3%. The result is spreading congestion and more frequent delays. The state of Connecticut has about 20,000 miles of, of roadways, of which about 4,000 miles of that are state highways. And we really monitor the traffic that's on the state highway system itself. About 20% of those miles are under congested conditions which primarily occur during the peak hours, the commuting hours, either in the morning or in the afternoon. We anticipate about a 20 to 30 percent increase in vehicle miles of travel in Connecticut over the next 20-year period.